Hello and welcome to a new series of videos about controlling things, about controls. Huh? This series of video we are dealing with open loop control system, yeah? Steuerungstechnik in German. Yeah? If you want to hear something about closed loop control system, there's another series about this, dealing with closed loop control system. Yeah? So in, in German we distinguish between Steuerungstechnik, which is open, and Regelungstechnik, which is closed loop controls. Yeah? Now we're talking about open loop controls. What this means, yeah? I will just show you. Yeah? So somewhere we do have a control system. Yeah? So there is somewhere but I want to influence. Yeah? This here, this is the so-called control system. Steuerungsstrecke in German. Usually there are some things going in. Energy, whatever. And some things coming out. And I want to influence what is the result. So this here is the controlled variable x. And for that reason I do have controller which shall take care that whatever I want to get out I get out. Yeah? So the controller is then influencing by one or even more signals the control system. Yeah? So this is are the outputs, yeah? XOs, XON, X, <laughs> XO1 yeah? from my controller. Yeah? And to decide in which order those outputs shall be switched or increased or decreased or whatever, yeah? the controller also have some inputs there. Yeah? So here we have inputs to the controller. Xi1, Xi2, Xim. That do not need to be the same amount. Based on those inputs, uh, the controller decides what to do next to the control system. Yeah? So basically I'm telling the controller what I want to have yeah? and the controller is then influencing my control system accordingly. Yeah? However, the controller does not check if the output is really the desired value. Yeah? The controller is simply doing its thing hoping for the best, let's say. And if everything is fine, it's really fine. Okay? If not, then there might be not the desired output, but the controller simply does not care. So there is a signal direction, this signal direction is simply from left zack, to right. Yeah? It's the signal flow here. There is no feedback. This would then be, if the controller is indeed checking if the output is correct, yeah, then this would be feedback controlled other video series. Yeah. Here we are talking about this. Yeah. We're starting with this because it's easier, yeah, simpler. You yeah, see, can be pretty nasty also. <laughs> However, that's the task of a controller. Yeah. So the controller has a bunch of inputs, a bunch of outputs, depending on the inputs and what maybe have been the inputs before and what is stored inside the controller maybe and so on, uh, 
then the outputs are switched. The outputs are influencing a control system and the output of the control system is changing, hopefully, according to the plan, what we want to have. I say hopefully, yeah. it will be, yeah. if everything is fine, the output is as planned. Yeah. Just if there are disturbances or something like this, then this type of controller would have uh, a problem. Yeah. However, it's pretty fast, yeah. because the controller does not need to check the output. This takes time. Yeah. The controller is switching something, Fast. Yeah? All right, I'm there. Yeah? Whatever is the output is the output. Very fast, very fast. Yeah? Uh, and also cheaper because I don't have to measure something or something like this. Just maybe here some limit switches. Yeah, that I see. Okay, aha, now there is a parcel or whatever, and I need to push it away. Or yeah? the simple basic inputs yeah? usually not too much measurement, and then the controller is influencing the system accordingly. This we are going to talk about. Controllers. First, we will do some distinguishing what type of controllers are there, what can we... And then we want to separate the controller functionality from the realization. This is also a big part that each and the same controller can be realized with different things, can be realized in pneumatics, in hydraulics, in electric, in, in programmable, and so on. What those things mean, we will hear. Huh? And in the end, we pretty much know what a controller is doing. Huh? That's the goal of this series of videos. Huh? So, next time, we're going to make some distinguishing what type of controllers there might be. Okay? For this time, for this introduction, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.